Claude Moraes, MEP. In the recent safe harbour decision, the uh, European Court made it very clear that mass surveillance of EU citizens um, w cannot be condoned uh, either in or outside the EU. I assume you welcome this decision. I think the safe harbour... The safe harbour decision is a land, the safe harbour decision is a landmark decision. It is um, an in-depth decision. It's unambiguous. It not only does it talk about suspension of safe harbour, it actually says that safe harbour really needs to be stopped. It is a very, very severe judgment, and we expected this because the European Parliament had been warning since 2008, but more severely since 2013 and 14. Uh, to the Commission that Safe Harbour was unsafe, uh, that it needed to be suspended, and I call for suspension again following this um, uh, judgment, because you're dealing with mass commercial transactions which essentially um, are not safe, and you're dealing with a massive difference in um, data protection standards between the European Union and the United States. You're dealing with a so-called national security exemption which creates instability. And you'd have better framework. This is not about point scoring, it's about getting a better framework because uh, you've now got the transactions happening under a different legal basis. And you can't go on like that. You know, Good legal opinion, particularly in the United States, is telling us that um, it's the medium-sized companies that are now going to suffer rather than the bigger ones. The household names will, will manage this situation. And that's what really worries me, that, that uh, citizens and companies are going to be harmed during this process. So we need to move quickly uh, to fix this situation. Today the Civil Liberties Committee will follow up on, uh, will discuss the follow up on your uh, resolution. What would you like the next steps to be? I think the next steps need to be practical steps. We need to work really hard in a teamwork effort to uh, fix the safe harbour situation. We need to examine very closely our trialogues, which are continuing now on data regulation, on passenger name records. And very good MEPs um, and senior staff are working very hard on these issues. And we need to face outwards to our external audiences and stakeholders to make sure these trialogues work, uh, that they are very open and and that the detail is right, that we get this legislation right. The balance between privacy on the one hand and protection of citizens on the other, because there are threats out there, whether it's terrorism and security, um, but we need privacy too, and getting that balance right is now critical. Trialogues are going on, that's the legislation, and that legislation needs to be um, balanced, it needs to stand the test of time. That's our task now.